Um, Tim probably had the review now, particularly through the midfield beat and contested ball and also clearance. For you, looking at it, where did it go wrong against Collingwood? Yeah, obviously, um, obviously touched up around the ball, um, you know, and probably outworked once the ball sort of left the area. So, um, you know, not good enough. You know, simply as, it's as simple as I can put it. Um, but we'll take a lot of learnings out of it. Um, there's a lot to learn from it. Um, so, you know, some areas of the game that we've actually been really good at um, were very poor. So, um, like all things, a lot to work on. Was it structure or, or a bit of personnel or combination? I mean, clearly we've seen Elliot Yo was a big factor there. Yeah, obviously that didn't help. Um, not having Yoey out there, but I think just, um, you know, just some areas of the game we've, 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 we've been good at in past weeks. So I um, wouldn't necess necessarily say we've gone away from it, but we're just, you know, probably not, um, it, it wasn't up to the standard we would have liked. And against, you know, um, a side like Collingwood, um, they exposed us. Well, we didn't work hard enough and, um, you yeah, know, taught us a lesson about being clean, uh, work rate, and, um, yeah, they were too good. If you had to break it down, method, execution, or effort, do you think, Tim, or a bit of, a bit of everything? No, I, I wouldn't necessarily say effort. I think effort was definitely there. Um, you know, it was, it was one of those games where, in particular as a midfield group, um, if you're a little bit off, they'd slice you, and at times you're, your pressure was actually pretty good, but they still get through. So, um, yeah, as I said, they yeah taught us many lessons. Are you optimistic or hopeful that Elliot can get up and the mail is that he's going to be pretty close this week? What's, what, what's your thoughts? Yeah, um, optimistic about it. He'll have a test later in the week, so um, that'll be massive for us um, if he can get back into the team this week, no doubt. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how he goes at training. Another big challenge um, against Nam and Christian Petrarca has spent a bit of time at forward boot and five goals. How do you stop a player of that calibre and do you hope maybe he spends a bit more time forward so you don't have to worry about him so much <laughs> in the midfield? Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, I watched a bit of that game um, the other night and yeah, he was he was unbelievable. Um, looked really good. One of those guys who can do a, a lot of damage in multiple areas of the ground. So uh, he's going to be a handful. Um, you know, so are, you know many of their players. So we've definitely, um, you know, we got to as a midfield group, we got to we got to move on from the weekend, um, learn from it, um, and get better because yeah, it doesn't get any easier um, this week. So we'll, we'll have our hands full, and um, you know, hopefully we can take some of those some of those learnings and you know get back to um, I guess um, a style and a, a brand that you know we've been working hard at um, for a number of weeks. Now we can get back to that because we're going to need to. They're a powerful midfield, but they're a different type of midfield to Collingwood, aren't they? What's the different sort of challenge that they present? Um, yeah, different. Um, I think oh, um, it's hard to sort of um, put my finger on what exactly it is, but um, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have their moments. Um, they're good. They got good senior players. They've been around for a while. Got a lot of experience. So, um, you know, it's it's going to be about momentum swings, especially you know from a midfield point of view. So, when we have it, um, you know, can we do more damage than when they've got it? So, um, yeah, massive challenge. It's going to be good. What does what does Indigenous round mean to you as a person that's had to fight for a spot in the league and been able to express yourself as a top level player in the league once you got here? What is it? What does it mean to you? Yeah, it's a pretty special round. Um, you know, I think for, for all people, especially, you know, us Indigenous boys in the league, um, you know, I think the AFL and all the clubs do uh, a great a great job at, you know, buying in to the, you know, to the concept and showcasing our, our culture. And, you know, there's, you know, many Indigenous players who have, you know, helped, you know, shape the game to what it is today. So, um, yeah, it's great. Um, and it, it's something that means a lot. I understand there's a number of the past First Nations players coming to watch the game. Can you let us know maybe who are those are coming and uh, I guess impact it has on you knowing that they're watching? Yeah, um, I'm not exactly too sure who, who they are, but um, yeah, it's going to be great, you know, reconnecting with, you know, some old familiar faces, um, 
you know, pre-game and post-game. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be great. Looking forward to um, seeing Lewis Jetta. Hopefully he's listening and he's there. But, um, yeah, it's just going to be great reconnecting with all those players. Harvey Johnston was um, kind of grabbed by a fan on the weekend. How is he after that incident? Yeah, I think he sort of had a little bit of a laugh about it. You know, I don't think there was any malicious intent behind it, but it's probably something that's not on. So, um, yeah, I mean, the AFL were handling that, but, um, yeah, it's probably not ideal from a fan to do that. But Tim, there's been a fair bit of pressure on some of the senior boys to retain their spot in the side this year, but do you see that as a bit of a sign of growth, the fact that the shift, there's been a bit of a shift from... The, you know, the heavy defeats to, OK, now the senior players are having to fight for their spot ahead of some of the younger boys? Yeah, absolutely. Like, that's, um, you know, if you want to be a good side, they live in that space of, you know, there's competition for spots, um, you know, and, uh, yeah, it's great. It's a, sp- it's, a, it's a space we haven't been in for a number of years now. So, um, you know, it's, it's great that we've got young boys pushing and, you know, um, our senior players, you know, it's important that, um, you know, we know we've, there's pressure there to perform, so um, it's great. It's actually a, a really good space as a club to be in. One of your Indigenous teammates, Liam Rollins, come back after a really long layoff. He's such an instinctive player, you know, just the way he used to fly from Arsenal. and sort of thing. It looks like he's still not quite at that point where he's ready to do that again. He's, he looks like he's warming to it a little bit game by game, but what do you, what is an experienced player like yourself say to someone like, like Liam to, to help him along to get him back to that point? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's clear that, you know, Fly's showing that, you know, he has uh, missed a lot of footy and, um, you know, like you said, he is a player who's very instinctive and um, at times it looks like he's not far off as well. So um, just got to keep encouraging him, keep working hard, you know, trust the process, keep, you know, keep working hard throughout the week and, um, you know, backing himself in and, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to come, you know, no doubt. And, you know, hopefully, um, hopefully he can turn it on this week. That'd be great. I'd love to see it. Does he look physically ready to you? I mean, two hamstring tendon injuries, one in each leg, is a big thing for a footballer and it often takes a long time just to get confidence in that fluid movement again. Does he look like he's at training and things? Does he look like he's moving like the old limb? Yeah, it's hard, hard to say, um, but no doubt, like, there probably is a little bit of, you know, um, you know, as you said, like, two hamstrings, um, been, out, about it, been out of the game for a while. There probably is a little bit of self, self-doubt, you know, um, in, you know, worrying about doing it again or, or whatnot. But, um, yeah, I reckon each week um, in terms of, you know, his, his, his running and, and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure he's, he's 11 and up. So, um, yeah, um, it's no secret he's missed a lot of footy. Um, you can miss one game and it sort of throws you out of whack. Um, so, yeah, he, um, I, like, as I said, I, I'd love to see him turn it on this week. Is, have you seen a more, the, the way he flies for his marks, or the way you <coughs> fly for his marks anyway, have you seen a more natural player in that part of the game than, than Liam is? Yeah, um, mate, he's, uh, to be honest, I, I don't think I have. Like when he's fully, when he's, when he's up and going, um, he's, he's a handful and he just, you know, he, he picks and chooses, but um, he probably flies at more. Um, they're not, but um, yeah, mate, I've got, I got no doubt that, that that's all coming. That's all coming. So, um, as I said, like, we'll just keep encouraging him, um, make sure that, you know, he's he's doing the work, he's trusting the process, and it's, it's going to show. Hopeful Gov can get up for this weekend, obviously, he's a big addition as well. Yeah, hopeful, uh, hopeful for Gov for sure. Um, you know, he's so important to us and, um, you know, such a warrior, even, you know, wanted to come back on the field after copping a heavy knock um, on the weekend. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, internal injury. And, um, you know, I'm sure he'll get assessed this week, uh, but certainly hopeful that he's going to play. Where you're at, the, um, the, the jumper in terms of all the ones you've worn, is, is that one of your favourites? Yeah, it's certainly up there. Um, yeah, Arnie Loretta Egan did an amazing job with this one. Um, you know, also past player Chris Lewis helped, um, you know, influence this design as well. And 
Yeah, it's certainly up there. Um, I think we've been a little bit blue heavy uh, with the colour the last last couple of years, so it's actually nice getting um, a nice yellow sort of orangey tingy look. So um, oh, it looks it looks nice. I can't wait to wear it on the weekend.